Doing K is currently in the process of trying to trim their budget down by more than four million bucks, but not everyone's happy with the first proposed cuts. Local force Casey Mintz, he's sitting by live in our Grand Island newsroom tonight with how the news got out to the student body and what's happened since. Casey. Spencer, you and Case Humanities students learned about the proposed deep cuts to their programs from a leak of a budget proposal. Proposed cuts of 33 staff positions across 14 different programs, from journalism to music and theater to physics and astronomy. And today, students have made their voices clear on the issue. At the University of Fountain, as students shouted one very simple message. We work so hard to build it up. That protest organized by a UNK senior. Laura Rosma is an English and a theater major in Loperland, and she says she learned about the cuts while at rehearsal for an on campus play. And she says she was hurt when she got the news of the deep cuts. It was heart wrenching. It was extremely upsetting to think that multiple someones somewhere didn't value the humanities and the arts that they didn't think that they were necessary to an education, necessary to human life. And it's not just students who were left with that feeling. One faculty member who attended the protest says cutting any or all of the humanities could impact UNK's standing nationally. UNK prides itself on being one of the top 10 regional universities and it's really inconceivable that uh, we could maintain that status without a vital presence of liberal arts, performing arts, and humanities. After the protest, everyone moved inside the Nebraskan Student Union for a forum to talk about any potential cuts in the budget. That's where students, both former and present, and faculty members made their voices heard. And university official Todd Gatula says that's important as they move forward with the budget considerations. The feedback's important. We, we want to hear it. That shared governance is, is very important, not just from students, but from faculty. Today was a great start. Uh, it needs to continue. Uh, we're listening. We're very transparent university in these difficult times and uh, no matter how difficult it is, we're going we're gonna to sit there and, and hear people and, and take those comments and, and everything into consideration. So the timeline now stands that a budget proposal has to be on Chancellor Christensen's desk by October 25th. Then they will bring that final budget proposal to the school sometime in November before a December 1st deadline to have it on Nebraska University System President Carter's desk on December 1st. Spencer, back to you in Hastings.